Did you know that every British tank from World War II on has a tea kettle in it? Well, they do. And there is a reason, so let's explore a little. Outrage over tea. In the late 1700s, a notorious tea party was held in a somewhat politically tense region in the British colonies, specifically in Boston, Massachusetts. It was held in honor of the British Crown, and it was hosted by those colonist rebels, and it provided a rather raucous and entertaining evening. A unique venue was selected by the rebels, in the harbor, on the docks at Griffin's Wharf. But this particular party was a little different, as all of the tea on His Majesty's ships, the Beaver, the Dartmouth, and the Eleanor, were tossed in the harbor for steeping. All of it. Seems that during this soiree, nobody took the time for polite conversation, or even a cup of the cold brewed and chilled saltwater tea. Instead, it was taken as quite an insult by the Brits. Those savages in the colonies dumped a whole boatload of, at the time, very expensive tea into the sea. The barbarians, for king and country, this shall not stand. In this case, it all worked out for the American colonies, but uh, an important lesson was learned. One should not mess with the British and their tea. The British and their tea have a powerful relationship. It's part of a well-known and celebrated cultural institution. The Brits discovered tea hundreds of years ago, during the early 1600s in China, and over the centuries for many, it has become a defining element of being British. And this tradition is one they have shared worldwide. From novelty to cultural identity, at first, tea was a precious novelty, an exclusive but highly valued one. Only the rich and well-bred had access to it. To keep this very extravagant commodity safe, it was kept in a tea cozy, a special lockable box designed to hold this cherished possession. The tea cozy was kept locked as the help could not be trusted not to take the tea whenever it was not secured. Early on, tea was enjoyed and shared only by those of substance and wealth, those who could afford it. And it was shared with only the notable visitors. Tea and the traditions that surrounded it evolved beyond being a prized and unique fixation for those who could afford it, to, as it became more accessible, a ubiquitous part of the culture. And finally, an indispensable aspect of how cultured people would interact, a proof of how civilized they were. The ritual of afternoon tea was established during the mid to early 19th century, when tea was still hard to procure. It occurred between 4 and 6 p.m. and included the service of this exquisite hot brew and a light snack designed to satisfy hunger until later in the evening when a formal dinner was served. Later in the 19th century, as tea became easier to acquire, the middle class was able to enjoy the ritual as well. Finally, everyday brewing and serving up a cuppa is a common cherished practice and a vital and obligatory aspect of being British, part of being civilized. We are British soldiers, not uncivilized monsters. Afternoon tea was customarily accompanied by polite and positive conversation. It happened regardless of the circumstances or the people you were with. Conflict, worry, and insult were simply not proper. One might be in battle or at home in the lap of luxury with friends or family or strangers, even enemies. And when it was time for tea, you take time and brew some tea a requisite part of British identity and tradition around its empire was tea. Even a part of its armed conflict, so much so that British tanks are now designed and fitted with a kettle. Seriously. The Brits were fighting that 
tank crews were often getting caught with their guard down. Because, it seems the enemy knew that the lads would, sometime during the afternoon, dutifully stop, get out of their tanks, and brew a cup of tea, making themselves an easy target. To overcome this vulnerability, since World War II, the tea kettle in the crew compartment became a required part of all British tanks, by regulation. So here's the ants. The somewhat unflappable British share an important example with the world. They demonstrate and practice a moment of each day to letting go of the pressures and distractions. They have created an opportunity for positive interaction with other people, and for at least a moment, time to reflect on what it means to be generous and honorable. Some may scoff at this tradition of tea, and the attitudes and practices that come along with it, but no matter what others think, afternoon tea is an opportunity to elevate, to rise above challenges and differences. I'd have to say that whether tea is involved or not, it's always good to take a moment and step back and remember who you are. And that's it. An ounce submitted for your consideration. Well, you're still watching. Thanks so much. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that subscribe button. Like, share, do all that stuff because we need it and we appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks.